This is a quick video over space-time. Space-time. So for a for a continuously stirred tank reactor, or a CSTR, CSTR, we know that the design equation for it is the volume is equal to the molar flow rate of A initially, or whatever is coming into the system, times the conversion we want, all divided by the reaction rate at the exit, RA exit, or just RA, the reaction rate of the system. Now, we actually also know that the molar flow rate of A initially is equal to the volumetric flow rate initially times the concentration of A initially. Again, the volumetric flow rate is just liters per second maybe times the concentration, which is moles per liter. So when you multiply that out, you just get moles per second are the initial molar flow rate of A. Now, if we plug this right there, we now get the volume is equal to V naught times the concentration of A initially times the conversion of A, all divided by the reaction rate. Now, if we divide both sides by V naught, we get we get the volume divided by the volumetric flow rate initially is equal to CA naught times X all divided by a negative reaction rate. And what we call this? We call this the space time. And the reason we call it a space time is because we're dividing a volume by a volumetric flow rate. And that will give us time. So if you, so if you divide the volume, which may be in so volume divided by the volumetric flow rate. So the volume is in meters cubed. Volumetric flow rate is in meter cubed per second. So then you just get sinkets or time. And we call that, or we give it the symbol tau and call it space time. So this is space, space time. Now you may hear people say it's resonance time, but it's not the actual resonance time. It's just, it's basically a ratio that when you divide it out, you get a time. And since it has a time in it, we just call it space time. So it's just a ratio. It's just the volume divided by the volumetric flow rate. So don't think of it as a resonance time. Just think of it as a ratio. Now notice space time is equal to this. It's equal to that. So if we continue on with this, and we have a first order reaction, first order reaction, reaction, whoops reaction, we know for a first order reaction, the reaction rate is equal to K times the concentration of A. So then we know the space time is equal to V over V naught, which is equal to the concentration of A initially times the conversion, all divided by RA, or we're just going to put KCA, KCA. Now, if we remember, the concentration of A is equal to the initial concentration of A all times 1 minus X. So that's just the basic calculation for, for even a batch system, how you would calculate the concentration of A. And it's the same for a CSTR. So then we can continue on saying that tau is equal to V over V naught. And that is CA naught times X all over KCA, and we're going to replace KCA with CA naught, so CA naught, 1 minus X, notice that this CA naught and this CA naught cancel, so then we get tau for a first order reaction, so I'm just to put first order reaction, is equal to V over V naught, is equal to C, or sorry, we cancel that out, is equal to X, over k1 minus x. Now, since you may not always know what k is, since k changes with temperature, what we can do is we can just say k, or multiply both sides by k, so we get k times the space time is equal to x over 1 minus x. And then if we do some rearranging, if we try to solve for x, because we can, we can actually solve for x, if we solve for x for this equation, we get x is equal to is equal to tau times k all divided by one 
plus tau k. So if you know what k is, if you know what k is, if that's known, and you know what tau is, if tau is known, then you can solve for x. You can solve for the conversion. And so you may ask, how do we solve for that if we just use this equation to solve for x? Well, remember, the space-time is equal to the volume divided by the volumetric flow rate. So if you know the volume, if that is known, if this is also known, you can solve for the conversion of a CSTR for a first-order reaction. So now, let's actually find the concentration of a first-order reaction. Let's find the concentration. So now, if we, if we combine this equation with this equation, we can find the concentration of A. So concentration of A is equal to is equal to CA naught CA naught all divided by 1 plus tau K. So this is only for only only for first order reactions. Reactions. Let's see.